What's up friends, hope you're doing well. This is Ben and today I want to show you a fun team building game that you can do with your kids. Um, this is a game where you're going to be challenging students to pass an item around in a circle in a variety of different ways. It's a good team building game and uh, it's a good icebreaker warm up game. It's also good for like a summer program or after school program or summer camp type setting. Um, I've used it in a lot of different ways. The way um, that I do it is we have rubber frogs. You can use any item that you want, a uh, deflated volleyball or a rubber chicken or anything you want. I use a rubber frog because that's what I have. Um, you're going to divide your students up into small groups or you can do it as a big class. Uh, depending on how many kids you have, I would probably do smaller groups of maybe 8 to 10 um, per group. So like if you had a class of 20, I would make two groups out of that so that you have a little bit more engagement and the groups aren't so big. Um, and this is also an example of how to gamify an activity. So what I've done is break up each activity into levels and I kind of use the video game language and talking to kids to give them a specific time limit and see if they can complete all the levels in that time limit. And uh, I do that with a lot of activities because it motivates students and it helps them uh, feel that motivation and that achievement even if they only complete one or two levels they feel good about completing those levels um, and then there's always more levels to complete uh, if they can do it quickly and work together so uh, it's a great game hope you like it I'll show you a few clips of me showing this game to students and hope you have a, a great day have fun and teach on see you later all right please listen so you know how to play the game this is a teamwork challenge I'm gonna give you 10 minutes you're gonna see how many levels you can in 10 minutes. However many you get done, that's how much time you have. Okay, so when 10 minutes runs out, that's all the time we got. We gotta move on to the next activity. What you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be working together to try to complete the challenge. For level one, you're going to try to pass the frog around the circle only using your hands. For every level, you have to pass the frog around the circle, but you're gonna be using a different body part for each level. What body part do you use for level one? Yeah. Your hands. I'm going to start the frog with one person, and if it goes around and then drops to the ground, you have to start over with the person that started it. If it makes it all the way around the circle, and gets back to the person that started it without dropping the ground, and hitting the ground, then you have successfully completed the challenge, and we'll move on to the next level. Does so everybody understand how to do level one? Yes, sir. Okay, let's remember that you need to be helping your team, not hurting your team. Okay, so if somebody accidentally drops the frog, would it be helping your team to say, oh, thanks a lot, now we got to start over? No, that would just be me. Is that helping? Good Is that hurting? Good try. Yes. Do you want to hurt your own team? No. Because then you have to start all over again and the person will feel bad. Exactly. Can you like raise their hand and tell me what would be something you could say that would be helpful if somebody accidentally drops the frog that's on your team? Yeah, say, hey, it's okay. It's just the game. It's the game. Please remember that. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay, when the music starts, you're going to start passing the frog. Everybody stand up.
Very good. So working as a team and then grabbing the frog long ways with your elbows so then the other person that's next to you had a little bit of room to grab the frog. If you grab it like this, it's a little bit harder than if you grabbed it long ways and then they could grab the head or the legs, whichever way the frog was facing. That's a good idea. What else? Going the other way. Oh, we tried going around one way, it wasn't working. So we tried going around the opposite direction and then Colin got it around the circle. So we didn't keep on doing the same thing over and over. If, it, if it's not working, you need to change it up and try something different. So that's what you guys did. Moved it around the circle and made it all the way around. Nice job. Give yourself a thumbs up. Wow. So, please listen to level number three. Level number three is you are going to be going around. Please listen. You're going to be going around the circle only using your feet. Oh, yeah. 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 Like the person that started with you can't touch the ground. You gotta use only your feet. So you're gonna be working together. This is the hardest level. Which yeah, one? Two minutes to complete this level. Which two minutes one? left. Which one? Okay, you can do this. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay, have a seat. We did not complete level three, but that's okay. We did our best. Give yourself a thumbs up. Say nice shot, self. Okay, great job my friends. I am very proud of your teamwork and working together trying to solve those problems. Next time, maybe you will get to level three, but it's all right. Y'all um, made it to level three. A lot of second grades did not even get to level three. So y'all got farther than a lot of my second grade classes this week.